The disaster on the USS Forrestal begins with a tiny procedural change to a missile launch system on a Phantom jet. Ship's committee makes a decision to insert the pigtail significantly earlier than the original safety procedures dictated. Evidence strongly suggests the pin on a second safety system has also been removed. An electrical surge is now able to trigger the uncommanded launch of a Zuni rocket. The rocket hits two Skyhawk bombers, puncturing at least one fuel tank. The ruptured fuel tank spread gallons of fuel onto the flight deck, which is ignited by the rocket's propellant. The burning fuel engulfs bombs dropped by the Skyhawks. The bombs explode, killing many of the ship's firefighters and blowing several large holes in the flight deck. Burning fuel floods through the holes into the lower decks of the ship, killing crew still in their bunks. It takes 17 hours to fully bring the fire under control. 134 people are killed. The Forrestal managed to limp back to Safe Harbor in Manila before eventually returning to the United States, where it's going to undergo a $72 million refit. After the Forrestal disaster, the safety procedures around the Zuni missiles were revised. Uh, old bombs were taken out of service, and new bombs were given more insulation to protect them from the heat of the fire. The Forrestal disaster begins with not following the design procedures.